This is my friend Matt Steyer. Matt was one of those people who seemed effortlessly cool at whatever he did. Without necessarily intending, Matt influenced a lot of my favorite things, from music to art, photography, good food and craft beer, and maybe most importantly, bicycles. Matt understood that a good bike could be used for far more than recreation, but also transportation, exercise, and making adventure happen. It's been a decade since we lost Matt to leukemia, but his memory and his legacy lives on, and he continues to influence those of us who knew him. Matt had a deep appreciation for vintage steel bicycles, especially those created by Grant Peterson while he was at Bridgestone. If an old steel Bridgestone bike came along at a good price, Matt was usually interested in buying it. So just recently, when a Bridgestone was posted on Facebook Marketplace here locally, that happened to be from the same era that Grant Peterson was there, I started to wonder if it was the bike for me. It looked large in the pictures, maybe too large even for a big guy like me. But I went and gave it a test ride, thought about it some more, and finally decided to pull the trigger. The bike was in decent shape for something that was over 30 years old, but the paint was chipping, the decals were peeling off, it had some wild 90s retro bar tape on it, and the component level was starting to show some signs of wear. So I got it home and started to take it apart intending to take the bike right down to the bare metal frame. One of the great parts about living here in State College is Penn State's Bike Den, uh, an open bike mechanic space that has just about any tool that you could ever need. I visited them first to take off the lower bottom bracket. I spent some time peeling off and preserving the original decals and decided after a closer inspection of the paint that I would actually sand it down and try and repaint it. I like the original red of this bike, but my favorite color is blue. And so I decided to make a big pivot and change the color up from primarily red to primarily blue. It worked pretty well to save those old decals. Uh, here you can see me attaching them to the front fork. It's a uh, bike paint day. I've got the bike frame prepped and ready. Uh, this is, I think, my fourth bike frame that I will have painted and I learn something new every time. Um, got some stencils on here already. It uh, looks like it's good to go. Everything's smoothed up and nice. Uh, yeah. I included the original Bridgestone RB2 decals and I added a few touches of my own, including keeping some bare steel and a few nods to my friend Matt. So frame is dry and one of my favorite things is peeling off the stickers, the decals and seeing how it turned out. Um, I did some interesting things. I left some bare metal here on the frame and uh, tribute to Matt a couple of different spots. Um, I'll share more as I'm putting the bike back together. But it basically means coming in with uh, Finding the edge, peeling it back. So <laughs> it's a tedious work, um, but it's kind of fun. Went back to the bike den to reinsert the bottom bracket to get the headset fit again and to start reassembling the bike. So uh, in acquiring parts for this bike, I got this set of wheels, which has quality Shimano hubs, 
but kind of mediocre rims. The bike came with um, decent hubs, but pretty quality Mavic rims. So I've got the rims from the bike, the hubs and spokes from the bike, and today I'm gonna try and fit the two together. I've never built a set of wheels before, uh, but it is something I remember Matt doing a time or two with some fun and interesting spoke patterns. I'm just gonna lace these up a very traditional way. And in transferring from one to the other, I'm hoping that that is a little easier for a newbie like me than uh, it would be if I was building a whole wheel from scratch, especially without owning a truing stand. And then back to Penn State's bike den to use their truing stand and get everything tightened up. I was trying to figure out what to do with the entry level components and saw that someone in the Souderton area where we used to live was selling 90s era Shimano 600 components, which were pretty high end in their day. Uh, I made an offer and uh, Thanks to some connections in the area, I was able to have those things picked up by my friend Randy. Just coincidentally, my friend Emily here in the State College area, her parents were visiting for the weekend and were able to transport the items here to me to be able to use them. Shimano 600 series, also known as the tricolored series, has uh, pretty cool looking stuff. Um, I needed a new stem and uh, here you can see me picking a stem that has a little bit of a shorter reach. One of the problems when I first got on the bike was how stretched out I felt. Um, this will allow for a bit more customization and adjustment. I needed some help getting the uh, tires on, so got my trusty helpers, my kids, to help with that. Miraculous. The head badge was originally silver with a black B. I painted that over with some blue paint and a little splatter effect to kind of give a nod to the 90s era vintage. Shimano 600 front derailleur that I had didn't quite fit. I went down the road to our, one of our local bike shops to freeze thaw cycles and sure enough, they had the part that I needed. I should also give a shout out to State College's bicycle shop. The bicycle shop had a very old and abused Shimano 600 derailleur um, for me that I was able to borrow a spring to replace a worn one in the components that I had. Uh, here you can see me starting to get the bar tape on. One of the last things to do is get the chain on and fit it properly. So Matt loved Matt loved leather Brooks saddles. I don't have a leather one, but I've got this cambium one that's pretty cool. I'm gonna pull it off of this bike and put it on the other one. And here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty great. You can see uh, the hashtag that we used for Matt as we were remembering him, Matt loved life. The light blue, dark blue paint contrast worked really well. And uh, I'm really pleased with the, the little subtle inclusions of uh, things like Matt's signature and this bike logo that uh, I believe his sister Amanda designed, um, which is actually on his headstone. It's been a decade. Uh, I still miss my friend Matt, um, but I've been thinking about him a lot with this bike and this bike project. A huge thank you to his brother John, uh, who helped get me the bicycle logo. Um, it's also his footage of um, Matt riding bikes around the woods. Uh, thanks, John, for that help. I love doing this sort of thing. And uh, if you are local and you need a hand in restoring an old bike, uh, please let me know. It's a lot of fun. If you knew Matt, you get a chance. Go out for a bike ride and remember him. Thanks for watching.